Hey, what's up, YouTube world? It is your girl here, the Venusian Bull, and I am back with another series of the Planets in the Houses series videos, okay? So in this series of videos, we are going to be discussing planets in the 10th house, all right? We have reached the highest point in the natal chart. Yes, we have. So we getting there slowly but surely, okay? Like... This time last year, you would have thought I would have been stopping at the third house, but here we are at the 10th house. All right. So in this introduction video, I just kind of want to give like a brief overview of kind of what we're going to be talking about. So I don't have to like repeat certain things over and over again. Okay. So the 10th house does represent your career. And I have discussed career in various points as I've been discussing planets in the houses and things like that. But this is the video that you should really pay attention to when it comes to your career. Okay, so the 10th house has to deal with your career, your public standing, your reputation, your legacy, and how you're going to be known when you like kind of like leave this earth like what are they going to say at your funeral what's going to be in your obituary a lot of that kind of has to do with your 10th house you know because the 10th house um rules capricorn okay so remember that so it's all about legacy okay it's all about what you're leaving behind it's all about your reputation and your public standing so pretty straightforward you know no bells and whistles just like capricorn likes it you know i got my blazer on i'm ready for business you know what i'm saying like it is what it is it's not a whole bunch of stuff like a lot of these other placements this is a bit of a controversial statement that i'm gonna make though the 10th house does have to deal with the mother as well now I know that most astrologers and most of you have learned that the fourth house represents the mother and the 10th house represents the father. I have kind of learned it the other way around and it's actually been quite accurate. If you do go back to my fourth house series of videos, when I discuss the planets in the fourth house, I do discuss the father ruling the fourth house as that being, you know, the foundation. Um, traditionally, the father is, you know, the, the foundation of the family. So that's why it rules the fourth house and things of that nature. So with the mother ruling the 10th house, you're going to hear me talking about the mother more, not just with the moon, for instance, but I'm going to be talking about it, you know, throughout the planets in the houses, just so you can get perspective. And it'll really come in handy when you're looking at like, you know, the um, the planet that rules the 10th house, especially if you don't have any planets there. Remember, I encourage everyone to actually watch all of the videos because they all play an integral part in your natal chart. Even if you don't have planets in that house, please watch these videos. Another important thing to remember about this series of videos is that not only am I going to be talking about the planets in the 10th house, but I'm also going to be talking about the midheaven, okay, which is the highest point in the natal chart. It is also known as the MC, all right? And that represents your career in public standing as well. So, you know, the planets that you have in the 10th house, they may have a different type of energy than the uh, the sign that's on the 10th house cusp. So I'm kind of going to be doing both when I discuss it, especially when I talk about the planets that rule more than one sign, like Mercury rules both Virgo and Gemini and Venus rules both Libra and Taurus. So I will be discussing that. So it'll vary a little bit um, when I discuss Mercury and when I discuss Venus, because I have to discuss those uh, signs on the 10th house cusps as well. So Okay, so remember with these placements, I have to stress this in all of my videos because people tend to forget, all right, this energy that, um, these characteristics that I give, the energy can be modified if you have other planets that are in the 10th house, if you have uh, other planets that are aspecting the 10th house, especially if it's aspecting it in you know a challenging way or something like that so everything could change depending on what sign is on the 10th house cusps you know because i'm going to be talking about both the planets and the house cusp so like for instance if you have mercury in the 10th house but then you have cancer on the 10th house cusp it's going to give a different vibe than you having mercury in the 10th house gemini on the 10th house cusp I just, I need to make this clear because some of y'all, like y'all, y'all are getting better with this. I think it's because I'm putting these disclosures at the beginning of the videos, but 
I just want to stress this out that everything is relative when it comes to astrology. It depends on so many different variables. Okay. So I just wanted to make that clear before we get into these uh, planets in the 10th house. It's going to be very interesting in this series of videos. Um, it's going to be very straightforward. I don't expect these videos to be too long, but um, if they are, I'm apologizing in advance because you know how a girl likes to talk. You know what I'm saying? But I think we're going to get to the point and I think we're going to get to the nitty gritty and um, it's going to be informative and it's going to be useful. This is very Capricornian, <laughs> Capricorn, Saturnian, whatever. And um, I hope you like these videos. So stay tuned. All right. So now we are going to be discussing Mars in the 10th house. Okay. All right. So just as a reminder, you know, Mars is the aggressor. Mars is all about drive. It's all about um, being a go-getter, going after what you want and just trying to, you know, get to the top. So Mars in the 10th house is actually a really, really great placement, especially when it comes to drive and ambition and going after what you want, like for real, like Mars is a dope ass placement in the 10th house. It really, really is. So Mars in the 10th is similar to having Mars in Capricorn or having Aries on the 10th house cusp to a lesser extent Scorpio, but I'm going to discuss Scorpionic type of tendencies more when I get to Pluto. Okay. So we're going to like, when we talk about Mars in the 10th house, we're really going to flow with Aries on the 10th house cusp. Okay. So I just want to make that clear for you guys. All right. So with Mars in the 10th house, like I said before, this is a very ambitious person when it comes to their career. No matter what it is that they're doing, they're ambitious, they're driven. Can't nobody tell them that they can't do it. Uh, they're going to do it. Um, they're going to get there and... Um, Ain't no stopping them now. They're on the move. So yeah, they on the move all the time. Like I always say Mars, like Aries slogan is like the Nike slogan, just do it. And they're going to just do it. They're going to take those risks um, in regards to your career and, um, you know, how you want to present yourself and your public reputation and your public standing. They're definitely going to take those risks to get to where um, they want to be. You know what I'm saying? Now, there are like a multitude of different types of careers you can have with Mars in the 10th um, because it's not so much about, you know, um, doing things that are Martian like per se, like, you know, like fighting or being an athlete, which obviously if you have Mars in the 10th, that's that's very obvious. Yes, you can be an athlete with Mars in the 10th. You can be a fighter. You can be um a person who has a career in the military because Aries and Mars do represent combat and the military and fighting and things like that. It can be that literal. But it can also be like you could be working for, I don't know, a Fortune 500 company or something like that. You can, you know, be a teacher or something. As long as whatever you're doing allows you to move and be active, you know, like a career and being like a fitness instructor is like really good. Um, if you are, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are a teacher, a career of like being a coach in any type of athletic field um, is great. Um, even like a dancer is something that's really good. And of course, we all know an entertainer. Yes, this is another one of those placements, y'all. This is a superstar placement right here. And do you know who has this placement? And I believe they do. Like their birth time hasn't been completely 100% confirmed, but I did do their chart. So Beyonce has Mars in the 10th house. Okay. So just know if you got Mars in the 10th house, then you can be like Beyonce. <laughs> Maybe not quite, you know what I'm saying? But, um, and she got Mars in Leo in the 10th house. So star. It's just, it's just star. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, so definitely you can be in the field of entertainment. You definitely are someone who stands out. You're a boss. You're the boss of yourself. Ain't nobody telling you what to do, um, and stuff like that. Um, you know, you're someone who definitely is capable of starting your own business. The whole nine to five working up the corporate ladder thing. It's not really for you unless you're like the CEO, unless you're on top. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you'll do it for like a little bit and stuff like that, but you're like, 
people are telling me what to do. Like, I don't like it here. Like, I need to leave. You know what I'm saying? So you could be going, going, gone. And because of like the speed of Mars, because Mars is fast, you are susceptible to changing careers because maybe careers are just, you know, they're just too slow for you. They're just, they just are not fast enough for you. You may find yourself um, moving to like other, like maybe more fast paced cities. Like if you're from down South or something like that in the United States, maybe you're moving to a more fast paced city in order to, you know, accomplish your career. Cause you just like, you're not about that slow life. Like it's not, you know, you gotta be fast, you know, everything has to be, you know, about moving. Um, any career that involves, you know, driving and stuff like that. I forgot to mention this with Mercury in the 10th house as well, but Mercury in the 10th house any career that has to deal with like driving for a living, like even like being like a truck driver. I know it sounds like minuscule or whatever, but it could definitely work. Um, and even like for Mars, because it's something about Mars energy, like being on the go. So you have this, you know, kind of element of uh, freedom and things like that. Um, you know how with Venus, you have a lot of opportunities for, you know, career advancement when you're being around women. Well, with Mars, you have more, you know, career advancements being around men. Men may give you this oppor these opportunities, whether you're a man, man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, you may get opportunities for advancement in your career um, from men and things like that. Um, this is also someone who can be very ruthless, um, quite competitive when it comes to getting what they want out of a career. They will compete with you. Um, yes, they will be like, I am the best. I'm, it, they'll, they'll see it as a race. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, we racing to get this project done. Okay. Like we, and it doesn't matter what type of career it is. Like I said, it's a, a it's a very competitive type of spirit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is going to pass Mars in the 10th house when it comes to, you know, their career goals and things of that nature. Um, they're just as driven as Sun as Sun in the 10th, probably even more driven than Sun, Sun in the 10th. I would say Mars in the 10th is probably the most driven placement you can have for the 10th house. Like Mars in the 10th is going to get the job done, okay? Um, they may not always come across as like the nicest or the sweetest type of person or whatever, because they're about going, you know, for the gold and stuff like that, which brings me back to being an athlete. Yes, you can, you know, be in the Olympics and things of that nature. So I wanted to discuss obviously the mother and everything I said about Mars applies to Aries on the 10th house cusp. So I want to make that 100% clear. Like they're pretty, you know, in terms of the characteristics, um, pretty in sync with each other. Um, so with the mother, if you have Mars in the 10th, your mother was definitely an aggressor. She was definitely a go-getter. Um, she may have even like tried to like compete with you, especially if we have this like mother daughter kind of competition, you know, that that could get a little, mm, that could get a little, you know, uncomfortable, but yes, it could definitely, um, be a little bit of that. Your mother was probably like in great shape. Uh, for most of their life, you know, worked out and things like that. And just been a very um, motivating type of person. Like you can do it. Sometimes it could be like too overbearing. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do this, then you can't go out with your friends for two weeks or two months or something like that. It could be like excessive because it's like, they want you to be the best. They want you to be able to excel like they do. You know what I'm saying? And of course, having Mars in the 10th, um, you may have a mother that's an Aries or um, a Mars dominant person um, in their chart. So definitely make sure that you take a look at that as well. So, um, yeah, I just oh, also Mars in the 10th doesn't do the best with working with others. They definitely feel like they're the first, they're the best, they're the only. Um, they're very selfish when it comes to their ability to kind of like spread the wealth around when it comes to their career. So they are going to kind of have this like, I can do bad all by myself type of mentality and stuff like that. But, you know, obviously given if they have, you know, other placements in their chart, this may subdue that type of, um, 
that type of characteristic as well. But yeah, I mean, like this is Mars in the 10th is like really pretty straightforward. You go after what you want and you get it again. Remember, this is the Capricorn house. So it's not without work. Mars is about work. So Mars in the 10th, they're not sitting there around on the ass like just like hmm I made some money I mean no no they're out there working they're out there hustling they are working hard for the money like these are not only like the most driven but they're just the hardest workers like especially if you got Mars and Virgo in the 10th house like oh my gosh like you you're just gonna be all you're just gonna be like you're gonna be getting it like you're going to be accomplishing your goals you know what i'm saying um and obviously if you have challenging aspects to your mars and you're not like able to accomplish your goals look at the type of things that you're actually trying to do because remember the sign on the 10th house cusp is going to uh further explain to you what your career should be so maybe you have mars in the 10th but it's like in pisces or whatever so like if you're kind of trying to be like an athlete and stuff and you're trying to get drafted into the nba Maybe do you need to fall back and be like, well, actually, I really like the paint and maybe I should be doing that with Mars and Pisces in the 10th. Yeah, that's what you should be doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you have to you have to equate the you know the planet obviously it's going to have its characteristics but the sign on the uh on that house cusp particularly the 10th house cusp because has to deal with career is going to you know modify that energy and it doesn't mean that you're not still aggressive that you're not still a go-getter you're not still an initiator um you know it just means that you need to go about it in a different way and remember um mars energy is very pioneering they're all about being the first to do to do things so you could be the first this the first woman the first black the first asian like you know you you can kind of get that vibe in the things that you're doing um and stuff and in terms of your public standing and your reputation people will remember you you know being strong being uh very willful being driven going after what you want maybe a little bossy maybe a little cocky you know what i'm saying but you'll get you know a nice You'll get a nice eulogy at your funeral. Yes, you you're gonna get you're gonna get the works, <laughs> pun intended. Yes, you're definitely um, going to going to get the works. So um, I think that uh, I covered everything. Um, I talked about the career itself. I talked about the mother. I talk about reputation and public standing and your legacy. And you want your your legacy to be that. You want your legacy to be that you were the first person to accomplish something. That is something that is very fulfilling for Mars in the 10th. It's not just about, you know, get, getting to that, that goal and to that first prize. It's about being the first to do it in that way. That's something that, you know, would just put the icing on the cake and all of the accomplishments that you accomplish because you're gonna have plenty. Like you're gonna have all these, you know, trophies and awards and, you know, all kinds of things. You did the work, you know, you you did the research, you may have broke your back a little bit. I mean, it, it's hard out here. It's hard out here in these streets for a Mars in the 10th house. It's not easy, you know what I'm saying? But you're gonna get there because you know, you're persevering and you are a hard worker and, um, you stop at nothing. And sometimes that may be at the expense of other people because you're so super ambitious. Um, so watch out for that <laughs> being like too ambitious for your own good. I mean, it's nothing wrong with being ambitious, but when you start kind of like, you know, pushing people to the side and sacrificing others, that's when you can come off as kind of mean and nasty. And maybe that eulogy won't be so nice. OK, um, but otherwise, it's all good over here for Mars in the 10th. Y'all are just doing the damn thing and you're going to do it. You're going to shoot for the stars, reach for the mountaintops and you're going to get there and break records. Oh, you might even be in the Guinness Book of World Records, too. How about them apples? <laughs> All right, so that's it for Mars in the 10th. If you haven't had this placement and the, any information I provided to you resonated with you, be sure to leave that in the comments. Let me know what uh, Mars in the 10th career path you may have chosen um, as well. And also remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.